All I see was fire and it was like dark smokes everywhere. Xavier Foster was outside this afternoon when suddenly he saw billowing black smoke coming from a home on Daffodil Lane. I ran outside, I looked to see where um, was everybody at. Called my dad, so my dad had to kick the door in and um, get the two people out. Today, Xavier and his father are heroes for their quick thinking and life-saving response. I had to think and get quick on my toes because at any moment something could have happened. I really appreciate that. And the firemen too. They did their job, so and the ambulance crew. Tammy Rhodes lives about five minutes away from her parents, Johnny and Melva Beaton. Today they sat by the road watching their home this morning a little before noon go up in smoke. As Bibb County firefighters battled the blaze, trading out oxygen tanks to go back in and put out the flames. The Beatons were struggling to escape when Foster was able to kick in the door to rescue them. He said it was at the front door. When he when he got in, it was at the front door. She says her mother noticed the fire and woke up Rhodes's father. My dad was sleeping at the time, so my mom went in there to get my dad. For the 76 and 80 year old couple to exit could have been disastrous without the neighbors who came to their aid. We thank them so much for coming to my parents' rescue. Rhodes's mother says she isn't sure what exactly caused the fire, but says it appears to have started in their back guest bedroom. A house can be rebuilt, you know, material things come and go. But your parents, you want to get them for a lifetime. Reporting in Macon, Gloria Ruth Finney, WGXA News.